Hi guys, this is Tony from Market to Mobiles, and in this video, I wanted to show you how to set up a sitemap for your mobile and reverse responsive sites. Now, this is a reverse responsive site, which means that it's actually built for mobile first, and of course, it's responsive to uh, PCs. As you can see, it's uh, nice and clean, very simple. But uh, look at this, here I have sitemap. Okay, and uh, you can see here's the actual HTML sitemap uh, for this website. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to actually set this up. What you want to do is you want to come over to xml-sitemaps.com. Okay, um, so let's just actually do that now. And so you'll see this page. Now what you want to do is you want to come down here, put in the www and your domain name. Okay, change of frequency. I said, you know, maybe monthly that I'll change it. And I have also selected automatically calculated priority. And you click on start. Now it's going to take a few minutes. Uh, there is a limit on how many pages. If you've got a really, really big site, then I think they are going to want you to pay some money. But it's basically free, uh, as I understand it, for websites up to 500 pages. Okay, so um, yeah, so anyway, uh, most of you should be fine because, you know, obviously we're building mobile sites and uh, probably most of your sites aren't going to be that huge anyway. Now, the two things that you're going to need is you're going to need this, this URL here, and you're going to need uh, the sitemap HTML. Okay, so you're going to want to right mouse click on that, open that link in a new tab. Now on a Mac, that's automatically going to download that, and then I want to open it. Okay, so now, now here is the sitemap. Now I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm going to right mouse click again, and I'm going to view the page source. So if you're using Firefox or some other browser, you need to be able to identify the page source. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire page. Okay, so Command C on a Mac, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to create a page called Sitemap, click on Tools, go to Source Code, and obviously paste that in. And of course, I've already done that. Uh, I'm going to click a little icon, and I'm going to click on Save. Okay, uh, and so basically, uh, that's what I get. Okay, now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to need this here. And I'm going to come over to uh, Webmaster Tools. And if you don't know how to set this up, I can do another video on this. But essentially, you're going to need a Gmail account. And I've then actually added my site to Webmaster Tools. So I'm going to click on the uh, actual website that I want. I'm going to click on Crawl. And I'm going to click on Sitemaps. OK. And I'm going to, I've already done this, but what you would do is you would click on Add Test Sitemap. And in here, you would have. Uh, this wording, uh, where is it? Um, yeah, you would have sitemap.xml. Okay, so that's what you'd need to type in here sitemap.xml. Uh, and you'd click on submit sitemap. Okay, and then what it's going to do is it's going to uh, let you know that your sitemap is now submitted. And this will actually help you with ranking your uh, mobile site within Google. Anyway, I hope hopefully that was uh, clear. If you've got any questions, leave a comment in the comment box below. Uh, please give the video a like. Please give it a share. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.